All right, guys, Big E here. I'm back again. I uh, talked with you earlier today about uh, braking, with, uh, bending the brake lines. So I got off the phone with guys helping me who's build stalkers, super stalkers. And um, <clears throat> we came to the conclusion that um, the lines that are on the front of the turd are fine. They're small. It's hard to explain um, with when you start dealing with hydraulic pressure and and brake force, applied force, and the science of it. This is one of those situations where common sense <clears throat> doesn't rule. Okay. See, now, in my mind, excuse me, I'm tripping over stuff in my area here. Um, in my mind, I would think, hey, the bigger the line, you want to move more fluid, okay? So you can get more pressure. So the master cylinder, same thing, the bigger the bore, you'd get no more pressure. And I couldn't be any further from the truth. And I just wanted to share this with you guys, is that I got off the phone with him and he kind of explained it a little bit. So I ended up putting the brake line that was on the car back on the car. <sighs> what I did find, what is wrong, is the master cylinder. And that's my fault as far as I didn't listen carefully and I didn't understand um, the physics fundamentals of it i guess for whatever reason so anyway what ended up happening is we're getting another master cylinder for the turd with a smaller bore and the reason being is uh, i was doing some little bit of uh, snooping around on the internet and i wanted to share with you guys so basically what happens is is like um with master cylinders are really weird because uh the principle uh, the principle is that uh, master cylinder, the smaller the bore, the more pressure they 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 create. So, uh, and it's you don't have to apply as much force to get that pressure. So, bigger the bore, you get more pressure and you move more fluid, but not as much pressure. So it depends what you're after in your application. If you like a hard pedal, um. Just a few things that I got from a little bit. I didn't, like I said, I have kids and stuff, so I don't have a lot of time to research it. So I'm just going to spout off things that kind of stuck in my mind. Was the bigger the bore of your master cylinder, uh, you're going to get a harder pedal, and you're going to get like a slower residual buildup of brake pressure with that high with the hydraulic uh, brake system. I'm talking in the, in the realm of manual. Uh, brakes, which is what I'm using on on the turd. Uh, you now you take that same, and there's one website that used the factor of 100 pounds. You're applying 100 pounds of pressure to a brake pedal, and ultimately they were saying, and I forget, I think they were they were using smaller bore sizes. So they were saying like 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 a one inch bore size master cylinder. If you put 100 psi. Uh, a pressure to that you would get 122 psi of force okay from that one inch and they had this whole formula of figuring out the surface area and divide by this and the board and if you want you can look it up they took a seven eighths bore size uh master cylinder and they applied that same 100 psi of force and it multiplied that and made it into 166 psi of, of 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 applied force. Now, that being said, you don't have to apply. Uh, the smaller bore is going to give you like a soft pedal, okay? So, um, but you're going to get more pressure. So it's all a matter of, of, of what you prefer, and, and there's equations to figure out how much pressure of a master cylinder you really need for your specific application. I was trying to see if there's like a generalization of bore size versus uh, car weight. You know, like I was trying to see like if your car weighed 3,300 pounds, 
what size bore master cylinder you need to stop that car well naturally it's not out there because there's so many other variables like residual valves pressure valves uh piston bore brake caliber piston bore size all this other stuff plays into the role here uh so basically and the other thing i got out of it is you can you can add power brakes to a manual master cylinder and it will work but you cannot take a power brake master cylinder and make it a manual because the bore is too big it won't work you'll get a hard pedal and you won't get any braking so keep that in mind if you're thinking of converting or any of that uh the also the thing too is you got to consider too with drum brakes you're gonna, you know, you're 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 probably gonna want a residual valve that keeps five five psi or ten psi of line pressure at all times, so they react quicker, so you don't have to build up that pressure. Um, and they require more. I think they require more fluid movement or something. So I think that also adjusts into the whole bore size diameter of the master cylinder and stuff like that. But it's all a science. But I wanted to touch base with you guys again because I'm trying to wrap my head around this and um, I do have another master cylinder coming with a smaller bore than the one that's on the turd now in the hopes that that will wake up the brakes and make it that my line lock works better. But if you're looking into the brake system, building one or even if you're just curious about the principles of how it works, you know, uh, that the biggest thing to know is that the smaller the bore size, the more pressure you're going to get, but you're also going to get a little bit of a softer pedal because you have that smaller bore that you're pushing into. And I, and there was also a way to figure out travel too. I have to look, I would have to look into that, but basically what you need to know is if you're out there, you're going to buy a universal manual um, uh, master cylinder for whatever project you're building See if you can, you know, and the guy, one guy even said in a video, it's a guessing game. You're going to buy a master cylinder and it might not be perfect. You might get, go through two or three different sizes before you find the one that matches a, your driving style and what works more efficiently for you. But just to know that the bigger the bore size, the harder the pedal, the less pressure you're going to get. The smaller the bore, the more pressure you're going to get, like a soft, spongy pedal and stuff. So, um, just to keep that in mind, I don't know if that helps, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to let you guys know that we got a, we're going to have a master cylinder install coming up on the third and see if that corrects the whole spongy pedal lack of brake situation. So, anyway, that's all for now. I guess random thoughts of Big E. So, anyway. Like and subscribe, check out my other videos. So watch out for each other, take care of each other. We'll see you next time on Big E's. Bye for now.